<laughs> Greetings everyone! The Deer Rockin' Hunter is here! Welcome at long last to Pokemon Y2! <laughs> Some of you guys thought that I was getting into Black 2. <laughs> well, I got one word for you. Wrong-o. Okay. So anyway, let's get into a new game. And I've actually done some testings on this one! There is no bugs! <laughs> hey there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls him the Pokemon Professor. That's right, this world is why I have it by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They can come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle for one another is particularly popular. And it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that is why I have researched that. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? Am I a guy or a gal? I am a guy. Your boy, right? That's right. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Well, my name that I love so much is Derek. So, you think I will go for something like that? Seeing as how it was basically a couple years after the main story from Black and White 1, right? Of course, I could say that. I could say that. But I decided to mix things up a little bit. If there's one thing that you guys want to know, is that I am actually thinking of changing my name into the future. And before you guys uh, criticize me, you know why now. My name that I think I'm changing into the future is Zedric. Kind of an odd name, isn't it? Your name is Zedric? That's right. So your name is Zedric. What a wonderful name. Well, thank you. Could you tell me a little bit about your friend, the older boy who lives nearby? Would you mind telling me his name? Oh, what was his name? I'll just go with Hugh. I think that's his name. Hugh? Did I get that right? You sure did. Zedric, I'm going to trust you with a Pokemon. I'm sure you will be great partners. The moment you choose in the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon with people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you learn what is important to you as a result of your travels. That's right, befriend new people and Pokemon to grow as a person. That's the most important goal of your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Also, best part about it is, I got my own 3DS. This is a capture card, in case you guys are wondering. So, I'm gonna give out a couple of big special hunt shoutouts. One of them especially goes to Shady Penguin, who got me to figure out more about... about said capture card, and he was the very first person that I figured out on who uses this. So, a big special shoutout to you, man. I gotta deal with a lot of cards, unfortunately, since this is a modified version, but... Oh, I'll twist around. Hello! Oh, hi! Why, uh, are you Juniper? It's been far too long. What can I do for you? Wow, Pokedex for my child? Wow, that's great! I think your journey will be a wonderful experience! What now? She's already here? Oh, for Pete's sakes, you never change! Once you decided on something, you just start going! 
Okay, Bianca, right? A big green hat. Got it. <laughs> okay, no worries. Hmm. I'm curious. Like, I think by the looks of this, I think there's like a one frame per second a little lag, but I, it's hardly noticeable. And I love it. Do you know Professor Juniper? She's a famous Pokemon researcher. Actually, she's an old friend of mine, and she can call me today for the first time in ages. This is out of the blue, but Cedric, do you want to have a Pokemon? Of course I do. Okay, step one completed. Well then, do you know what a Pokedex is? I sure do. I knew you would. Isn't it amazing how it automatically records Pokemon you encounter? So basically, you tell me for what it is from anyway. Basically, it's like Bulbapedia on the go without Bulbapedia. <laughs> Get another question. You want a Pokedex, right? You just asked me that! Okay, step two completed. Cedric, your course of action has been set. A grown up Bianca has come here to meet you. She's Professor Juniper's assistant. I was told to simply look for a big green hat. That's right. You're going to look for... Look, yeah, look, look for Bianca. And then you'll get a Pokedex and a Pokemon to be your partner. Oh, your extra saver is in your bag, right? Do you know how to open your bag? Of course I do. The girl's name is Bianca. I was told you should look for a big green hat. She may be lost because this this is the first time I'm here. Go look for her. Alright. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to run just yet. So... Hey, Zedric! Hello, guys. Hey! You getting a Pokemon yet? There aren't any Pokemon trainers around here and I'm getting bored! What's that? A person in Bianca is giving you a Pokemon? Really? Cedric, if you get a Pokemon, take really, really good care of it, okay? <sighs> yeah. Okay, let's go get your Pokemon! There's something I have to do. And to do that, I need someone I can trust beside my partner in a Pokemon. Besides my partner Pokemon. A person I can trust. That's right, I'm talking about you. You seem like you've got good instincts. You head on home. Okay, big brother. Bye-bye, Zedric. Alright. Let's go find that person in Bianca. Let's go. If we had the ability to run, this would probably be a little bit more appropriate. And from the uh, animation trailer. You guys know the one. Okay. I believe you want to come up here. Oh, I get it. The outlook is that Aspersia's most famous spawn. I bet Bianca's up there looking at the scenery. Come on, go get your Pokemon already. Hello. I'm just gonna walk over here. It's so pretty. Hey there, don't you agree? Oh, my name is Bianca. I'm the assistant of the Pokemon Professor, Professor Juniper. I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named Zedric? You're talking to him. Oh, wait, you're Zedric. Wow, you're exactly like I heard. Nice to meet you. I have a really important request to ask you. Will you help us complete the Pokedex? Sure. Oh, wow, thanks. This point will help Professor Juniper's research move forward. Anyway, filling out the Pokedex is totally fun. Okay. Okay then. Ta-da! And here's the Pokemon that will be your partner. And this is where our decision comes in. So for each and one, I'll go ahead and cover each of the Pokemon from left to right. First up is Snivy. Snivy! It is going to be a pure grass type Pokemon throughout the entirety of the game. Um, I used the one from what well, my Black LP, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to skip on this one. Um, Snivy is a Pokemon that is mostly meant to be here for challengers, so if you want to go for a challenge, go for Snivy because it has a major weakness against a good chunk of the bosses in the game, so hey, it's still a pretty good Pokemon nonetheless. Next up is Tepig. Tepig! It is going to become a firefighting type of bonus final evolution. Well, actually, more like a second evolution, but haven't we seen that already? But, um, anyway, this one is actually pretty balanced, and, is, and once it evolves later on, it becomes one of the fastest fire types that I would recommend. Um, it does pack a lot of good punches and really good, especially offensive capabilities. So if you want to go for an easy run through, Tepig's your guy. And of course, there's everyone's favorite, Oshawott! Oshawott! 
Do I really need to say much about this thing? I do, don't I? Well, anyway, like many water starters, it is basically the middle of the road choice. It's more balanced. Um, I recommend that you get a water type for a pretty good hit chunk of the game already. So, I would recommend that you get a water type pretty soon. So, with that said and done, you probably already guess who it is. Say hello to Oshawott! Oshawa is ours. Oh wow, you and Oshawa are a perfect match. Well, thank you. By the way, would you like to give a nickname to the Pokemon you chose? You know what? Why not? Oh, and it's a female. You know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna go with this name. Oh boy, I'm spawning right. If I spell this wrong, I could just uh, change it off screen. But this is what his temporary name is going to be. Sure, you can! <laughs> sure, you can! Is that the nickname you want? Sure. Sure, you can! That is such a great name! Now you've got your own Pokemon, so I'll give this to you a Pokedex. Why, thank you. You want to know what it does? The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you've encountered. So Professor Jennifer wants you to carry this Pokedex, visit a lot of places, and meet all the Pokemon in the universe region. So basically, it's like I said from before. It's like Bulbapedia on the go. Hey, how long are you going to planning to keep me waiting anyway? Hey, what's that? So that's your partner, huh? That's great! My sister already said so, but take really, really good care of your Pokemon. Got it? What's that you're holding there? It's a Pokedex. Please can't give me a Pokedex too. I want to get stronger. If I have a Pokedex, I can learn more about Pokemon. That'll make me tougher, right? Um, who are you again? I'm Hugh. I'm going to travel the Universal Region with my part Pokemon partner in order to search for something very important. Well, okay, I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good. Anyway, I just happen to have another Pokedex on me. It looks like Pokemon distribution has really changed compared to two years ago. So the more the merrier. Ooh, I forgot about this thing, this is beautiful. Let's see how good a trainer you are. I'll use my Snivy that I raised from an egg. Great. Like with any rival, they always have to go with a Pokemon that has the type advantage. So anyway, this guy right here, Hugh. Of course, I have one Pokemon, and it always be the starter that will be at the type advantage. Um, unfortunately, I did not look closely at the moves already. Of course, I didn't create them this way, but I got desperate, so I need to get this done now. So we got Tackle and Tail Whip, and holy crap. Okay, so it's got Tackle, and we'll bet that I Okay, so maybe has Tackle and Leer, just remember. And I think Tepig should have. Is it again? Uh, tackle and growl. Okay. I won't forget the pain you just have put my partner through. Okay. Oh, Lear. Ugh. That's bad. That's my defense. One more good hit, and that should be. Hugh, if you say you're gonna get stronger, why didn't you use an attack on me? Oh well, no big deal. Because down it goes! Yeah! And sure you could! It's at level 6. Yeah! Woo! Almost at level 7, dang. I couldn't achieve victory for my partner. I won't let myself forget this frustration. Eh, quit your whining, you'll be fine. I lost! This is different than battling her with a wild Pokemon. Well, whatever. I'm just happy to know you're a trainer I can count on. Cool! I'm heading off first. Get stronger! The Pokemon on both sides did their best. But this little one is still weak. So battle with it and make it stronger. Alrighty! Let's go make your Pokemon better at the Pokemon Center. 
It's like the best place ever for Pokemon to ba battle and get hurt. It is true. The Pokemon Center is the same no matter where you are. Let's go inside. Okay, I'll show you around the Pokemon Center. The Pokemon Center heals my Pokemon for free. You should bring your Pokemon here anytime they are weak. Bring your Pokemon, hand me your Pokemon for a sec. It's like your science, magic, and nursery come together as one. Next, I'll explain the PC. The square thing is, the thing is a PC. Any trainer is free to use it. You can deposit Pokemon in it. Also, you can withdraw Pokemon from it. The next thing is over here. Ah, yes, the good old Pokemon. Here you can buy and sell many different items. Pokeballs that are you use to catch Pokemon can also be bought at the Pokemon. Here's Edric, I'll give you some Pokeballs. Well, thank you. Next up, I'll show you how to use the Pokeballs. Follow me. Alright, so what do you got? You got nothing but mail! Worthless items! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. I'm gonna check my PC real quick. So check PC. Um, oh, that's right! That's just different from this. Um, let's see here. Um, I'll buy me some potions. And. I don't do it. Alright. Hello? Oh, nice to meet you. You must be Bianca, right? And Cedric, can I pick on what you want that? <laughs> Looking good. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, take these. They're running shoes. Where was that when I needed it so I could follow the animated trailer? A perfect fit. I'll read the instructions to you. Hold the B button to run faster than normal. Put on the running shoes and race around to your heart's content. Now your Nostra can run anywhere you want. Um, this is from me. Ooh! The town map. Why are there two town maps? I want you to give the other one to my big brother. That's a good idea. Even if it is a single road to the ocean, having a town map is always nice. I mean, if you use a town map, you know all about what the Unova region is like. Aw, you guys, just so watching this makes me happy. Come on, we're heading for Route 19. I'll teach you how to catch a Pokemon. Bon voyage! Take Oshawa and go see many different Pokemon and people with your own eyes. Okay, um, before we do so, what do you say we take a look at the map? Oh, that's right, that's a free space. It's a different thing in this. So, of course, if you look at the bottom of the screen, we got Aspersia City right here. Universe region has extended a little bit since our last time we played through here. So, it looks like we're heading here for Route 19 from up here. And we're going to make all the way to Verbank City later on. So, anyway, now that we got in the building to run, let's just hightail and out of here. Well, hey, Tudrick, you can't go without. Oh? You're with Oshawa. Okay, this is a going away gift. Don't be shy, take it. So that was our free potion. I just bought some potions for nothing. If we're gonna get her, take it easy and go to a Pokemon Center. With pleasure. Alright, and welcome to Route 119. I'll cover the Pokemon in just a little bit. Hey! This way. Or I should probably do it like this. Hey! Anyone? Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess? <laughs> this kind of reminds me of that down, Route 1. Okay, here's how it works. The Pokedex page just fills up automatically when you meet Pokemon. When you catch a Pokemon, more detailed information on it is added to the Pokedex. Here, I'll show you how to catch a Pokemon starting now. Of course, we just see the tutorials for this. Alright.
Very good. Very good. Alright. What a relief. I caught a Pokemon. Oh, um, right. I'll go over the important stuff. First, go find a healthy Pokemon to catch. You need to remember him this next bit. It's best to lower the Pokemon's HP before you try to catch it. Use your Pokemon's moves to lower the HP of your Pokemon you want to catch. Making it fall asleep or paralyzing it will make it even easier to catch. You want to go deliver the town to your friend, right? Continue straight this way to get to a Floresi town. Bye now. It's not a Pokemon to catch a lot of them, okay? With pleasure. And you know what? Let's find us a Pokemon, shall we? So coming on here, we got only two new Pokemon. One of them is this little Patrat right here. Patrat! This is the Rattata of this generation. Um, typically, this one particular one may s not seem like much, but in all honesty, if you can, I don't think this is the right Pokemon that has it, but I think this one may have pickup for the ability. Because I know that there's a Pokemon that we're going to be seeing a little bit later on that does, and if you want to have a really good Pokemon that has a really good ability such as that, it's a good idea. Then the last Pokemon you're going to find out here is Purloin. Purloin! Is a pure dark type Pokemon. Um, unfortunately, I would say it's a pretty good Pokemon, but unfortunately, it's very, very frail even upon its final evolution of Lightbird. So, I'm not saying that as a bad Pokemon, but if you're ever gonna use one, think about what you're doing. So we got ourselves a little patch rat right here, and let's see here. I doubt you do. Okay, so you got key nine for the ability, so that means you cannot have your actually be lowered. Okay! By the looks of it, everything that seems to be running neat as a pin. So, with that said and done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna end things off right here. Oh boy, this is already off to a fantastic start already. Alright, so, next time on Pokemon White 2, we're gonna be heading off to our Valencia town, hopefully find our good buddy Hugh, and proceed on with our adventure! See you guys then.